Now that they're trainee farmers, they realize they, that they can water crops, but I really don't get the point when planting gives you experience faster. Maybe it's so that um, they don't become master farmers too fast. They automatically set them to a skill that takes longer. But if you want to really work at it, you can get master farmers faster. At one point, at some point, having a uh, master farmer is going to be useful in a certain puzzle, but that's not going to come up for a while. This guy is doing okay. Alright. It would be nice if I could find a mushroom somewhere. So there'd at least be something in the food bin. Three more minutes. I might as well keep recording. Although, there's really nothing to show, nothing to tell. Can't, can't for the life of me think of anything interesting to say about myself. Since I'm very, very boring. Hell no, I could tell you my very interesting views on alien life. <laughs> I don't know, I'm on the Code Lyoko message board for some reason, and uh, there were some people- There we go, mushroom. Debating whether aliens existed, or stating their personal views on it. I like it when people say, oh, there's probably single cell life out there. Maybe something like plants or animals at the most. Uh, and I'm thinking to myself, yep, whole wide universe and we're the smartest things in it. USA, number one! <laughs> number one in the universe! Woo! But really, what I what I think sentient aliens are life are like, what their lives are like. Look at that! They gobbled up the last bit of food as soon as I got it. And I'm on slow. I, that that makes your uh, food consumption rate minimum if you have the game on the slow setting. But, <sighs> One more minute, you guys. Just hang on for one more minute. <laughs> and then you'll have another food source that you can start schlepping over. I want these good guys to be good at farming by the time it comes so that they don't spend too much time wondering, Durr, how do I collect this? And instead have enough farming experience to actually succeed. So, I'm having them plant crops. This guy's doctoring because... Hey, we are, the women were already master doctors. And we needed this guy to do the science because everyone else is already mastered science. I mean, technically there's nothing illegal about having a master at a skill actually do that skill that they are a master of. Having master doctors keep doctoring, having master scientists keep sciencing, but... I'm just uncomfortable with it. You know, I want to spread the skill around instead of having them focus on one thing. There we go! 800 crops remaining. Now, yeah, she's still planting crops, but now, finally, they're gonna harvest the crops. I didn't even need to tell her to. She's like, hmm, harvest. What about you? Harvest! So, yeah, you get 800. I know, that seems like a limited number, and once they're gone, yes, they are gone, but they regenerate. Also, take a look at this. 30 berries came back. That happens every time your crops are regenerated. You also regenerate 30 berries on the bush. Not much to make much of a difference. I mean, 15 trips back and forth and they're gone, but... 
you know, at least it A makes the game seem more lifelike and B is better than nothing. Well, since these two are still trainees, they're gonna fail a couple of times, but I mean, again, it, it's like harvesting berries. How do you fail to take a bunch of carrots and turnips and put them in a bowl? How hard is it? And why, oh why, is this game running so slow? It's never done this to me before. <laughs> yep. Carrots and turnips. Now we can nibble at the end of them and go, Yeah, what's up, Doc? Or we can hit each other over the head with them. If we can get any, Miss Kaya. Tomi's making some progress. Since he's a more dependable, um, guy, I think I can, uh, have him get the berries later on. You know, once he's at like an adept level, I'll have him do 15 trips up and down, get the berries, and then focus on science for a while. I think he just got some tech points. You'll notice it's not very far of a trip. This is the closest food source to the food bowl. Unless you get some conveniently placed mushroom or something. What are you doing? Don't do that. You're sick enough as it is. Well, technically your status is considered healthy now, not weakened, but... I worry about you little guys. I don't want you dying. Then I'll look like a terrible Let's Player. How was anyone supposed to listen to me then? Once this guy's an adept scientist and I can rely on him a bit more, I'll have him go and fetch the berries. Meanwhile, these two women will fetch the crops. You'll notice the rows don't look as full as they did a minute ago. Um, this little image changes with the number of crops you've collected already. Actually, I'd like this guy to become a master farmer. It'd be nice if we had one. The women can stick to farming, I don't mind, but... I'll only have him farm if there's any actual farming to do, but... Right now, I'd really like him to gain some science skill, so I can depend on him. Then I'll just have him go and get the berries while these two are watering crops and acting blind. As is the case with any task, once they deposit their food in the food bowl, then it's a good idea to drag them back. So, you see, we're getting some more food now, but we're not going to get the full 800 because they'll be eating as they pick. Everyone will be, you know. You notice the number is always dropping down. You know, they'll suddenly notice that you have like eight food or so missing. It's just how life goes in the village. People eat. You never notice it, you know, they're sneaky about it, but that's what they do. This isn't exactly all that exciting either, so I'll let you guys catch a break. See you later, everybody.